Hello Simplifiers, Diana from Diana Simplifies here and it's time for Monday Motivation. This is the new series I've been doing, just kind of cleaning some areas around my house. Some I talked about um, a lot of times when I go into a new client's home, these areas are just really bad, very dirty, haven't been touched in a long time. Today I'm just going to be cleaning my husband's bathroom and it is not that dirty. Um, although I will say the majority of times when I go into a new home, the bathrooms are pretty dirty and need a lot of attention. So that is another area that we definitely need to look at. Just make sure ours is spick and span for this week. Um, my husband and I do not, we do not have a, um, like an ensuite or whatever bathroom. This house was built in the 1890s and the bathrooms were added on in the 50s. So there's just two small bathrooms. And so I have my own bathroom. I always say this is how our marriage stays so healthy and happy because we have separate bathrooms. He can do whatever he wants in his bathroom. I really don't care. He's actually supposed to clean his own bathroom, but I don't think that's been happening. So, um, the other thing I've been doing this week um, is going through my papers. All of this needs to be shredded. So that's what this big pile is. I went through a whole bunch of papers yesterday and got through all of that and now I've got my shred pile and um, I'm just, I'm trying to at least two times a year, maybe even three times a year, do a, a big shred. So June is one of the times a year. In January I did a bunch of shredding and then now we're into June. So basically anything I didn't hit from last year. So if I had a few things from December that might need to be shredded and then any receipts that we don't need for tax purposes. So that was a whole bunch of receipts there also in that, in that stack of papers I just showed you. And, um, you know, once we've marked them off the, um, the credit card statement, or if you use a debit card or whatever, once we've marked that off, we don't necessarily need to keep them, especially, you know, like Walmart, you only have 90 days to take things back, stuff like that. So once we're past the 90 days, unless it's a, some kind of tax receipt that we need, no reason to keep hanging on this stuff. So I would, if it had, if it was groceries and I knew it was groceries we'd eaten, then I just, you know, shuffle that page along, shuffle up. I just want to get rid of everything. The other thing I've been doing is washing my husband's towels. Um, sometimes I kind of just forget to do these because I don't spend a lot of time in the bathroom. Again, it's about my own. But so I did work on that today. And so they go in this back behind me. So I've got to put them away. And then other than that, we're going to go into his bathroom and do some cleaning. I did run Roomba in there um, first and I did move stuff off the countertop so just so I wouldn't be you know moving stuff back and forth instead of just I just want to be able to set the camera up start filming and move on along so um, I am using a disinfectant in there I usually don't spend a lot of time here in our house disinfecting I've always said that here on YouTube I sunshine's in here playing I don't know what she's doing but something has scared her but I don't usually disinfect. I'm doing it today because I'm also, I am gonna disinfect our, our little small bathroom trash can. So that is part of this video as well. I disinfected the trash can. So while I was doing that, I just used the one cleaner and worked in the bathroom with that same cleaner. I don't mind disinfecting it sometimes, but everything that I've read, you know, everybody has their own ideas about germs and germ theory and all of these things. But from everything that my study and what I've read is it's best not to disinfect everything and kill everything. It's really best to just live with some germs, which we're going to be, no matter what you do, you're going to be around germs. If somebody's coughing, there's germs. If somebody's sneezing, there's germs. So you really can't. There's just not a whole lot you can do besides bulletproof your own immune system. And one of the ways you can bulletproof that is to not kill every single germ in your house. So with us living with cats, I always tell people, we're not dead yet. we got cats everywhere. The cat's up in the windowsill now. She's roamed around all over my kitchen. I'm letting her kind of come back and forth in here. She's been in the kitchen for a long time, but she's much healthier now. I'm kind of letting her have the run of the house a little bit more, trying to get the other girls in here used to her. As you see, the girls are, they're nowhere to be found. Guess why? Because sunshine's here. They are under the bed. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get to the video, but thanks so much for being here with me. I appreciate you. If you're new here, welcome. If you've been here forever, thank you so much for still sticking with me and thanks for commenting. I really appreciate it. it helps sometimes. I feel like it sometimes helps push the videos out. So if you don't mind commenting, I appreciate it. If you don't mind clicking like, I also appreciate that. If you don't mind subscribing, sticking around and subscribing, I would love to have you. Love you so much and we'll get into the video now. 
All right, I've got Spencer's trash can. I think I'm just gonna, the outside actually looks pretty good. I'm just gonna do the inside so I don't make a huge mess really on the floor. And I'm just gonna sit it down. And then I'm gonna work on mine. Mine gets really dirty because there's cats, dogs, everything else in my bathroom. So I'm just gonna spray the whole thing. And then it's got this little plastic liner in inside it. Noisy. This, I'm just gonna spray this real good. I'm gonna let all this sit. Okay, I'm gonna let all that sit for just a few minutes. I brought my fly lady cloth in here. This is the smaller cloth. I'm gonna work on this window and also this mirror. I'm just gonna dampen this and wipe the window down and wipe the mirror down. I don't, I've never used window cleaner, never. I haven't used it since I started using these cloths. You can if you want to. To me, it's usually streaks. So I just use these cloths, but I just dampen them and use them. Now, these windows, I can pull it out and pull it in, and I may do that, but I'm gonna clean this mirror first. All right, I'll wipe my mirror down. Spencer has a list up here of things he's, he's supposed to be doing. He has to give Mila her eye drops. Um, she's the one that I've had trouble tro with her eyes, and so, He's in charge of doing that, so he has a little list of things up there he's supposed to be doing, so that's what that is, so I'm not going to wipe that off. I'm going to dampen that just a little bit, one more time, and I'll pull this window down and clean it, or pull it out like what I was talking about a minute ago. This got super dirty when I did that. I probably shouldn't have done that with my nice cloth. Sometimes the dirt doesn't come off very well. But anyway, I'm gonna rinse this out and we'll get to the sink. Okay, I got most of the dirt washed out of this. So I'm gonna go ahead and use it because I mean, it, it, it got pretty clean. I'm gonna go ahead and use it on here. So I'm just gonna spray liberally because I haven't cleaned in here in a while. Okay, I got my cloth really wet, so I'm going to go ahead and wipe it down with a paper towel. So it'll go ahead and dry. One thing, I did clear this whole area off. He, you know, he has things that he has sitting around here. 
So I just moved everything before I started so I wouldn't have to be moving it while I was um, filming. So I did do a little bit of prep work before I started. So this was the liner on mine. So I'm just going to dry all that disinfectant out with a paper towel. You can use a, a wet rag if you want. I just, I don't know, I just really want it to be dry, not, not still so damp. I am going to go ahead and wipe this outside part since I didn't spray that part. Alright, that looks good. Go ahead and clean this part out. I think we've had this trash can for the entire 30 years that we have lived here. We've lived here actually 29 years, but it's still close enough. A little over 29 years. We moved here in March of um, Doesn't have to be perfect, just trying to get it a lot cleaner than it was. Some of the cat hair off of it, maybe. Dog hair, whatever. Ranger spends a lot of time in my bathroom with me, so it's got a lot of dust and hair on it. This that little thing right here always gets dust. Okay, I think that looks better. This has and then Spencer's, I put a couple of these Walmart bags in the bottom. here. Line it with that one. So that feels, smells nice and fresh now. Same with mine. I'm going to put it outside here because I'm going to mop as soon as I do this toilet. This one goes inside mine. Smells good. my spray and mop, my Libman, got that cord all tangled up, my Libman spray and mop, I've had this mop forever, you see how faded this is, I've probably had it almost 20 years, 15, 20 years, and this is the little thing that you buy to go on it, all right, so let me clean the toilet, and then clean the toilet, I just spray it down good, spray the handle good. And then wipe with a towel. I am gonna, uh, I'm gonna scrub with this. This is a fly lady um, scrubber thingy. And then I just stop and I, I just go top to bottom. So I start with the tank. And I do the sides and the front, the handle. And then I go back behind here where the little hinges are. Now, once you 
once I throw that away because this is still damp, so I start again, which may seem like a lot of you know overkill, but this is how I do it for my clients. So if they walk in right after I've cleaned it, it's nice and dry and they're not sitting in cleaner. So it's drier now than it was. And then I'll just go ahead and keep on. Mila's very talkative today. Now, if you have men or boys that are um, hitting the floor, you're going to need to do your floor as well. I'm going to be mopping and Spencer doesn't hit the floor, so, but I am, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll just wet one and then do this, um, do this around, whoops, around here. Also the bottom, which I'm not sure you can even see that, but. I am wiping the floor a little because I'm seeing some cat hair stuff. I forgot Roomba can't get in between there, so yeah. So I did need to wipe the floor there, and it also can't get on this side either. So I'm going to go ahead and wipe the floor down just a little bit with your towel. Just like that. Here, before I use the mop in here. All right, so the toilet is clean now. And a glove I did not need. I'm going to go ahead. Um, I always put Spencer's um, shaving cream on a paper towel. So I'm just going to give him a new paper towel because I want extra sitting here. So all this has been cleaned off. I'm still seeing hair, y'all. And dropping our hair everywhere. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'm, I make sure everything's dry before I put the, the top down. That's a little bit damp right there. So I'm just going to let that air dry. And go ahead and take my glove off because I don't need that to mop with. And I'm seeing a little bit more cat hair back here. I've got my mop pad already on. I'm just going to go ahead and mop now. And this just sprays and then you mop. In case you've never used one of these. myself out. I know you're seeing my rear ends at this point. But it's, it's a very tiny bathroom. I just mop my way out. So I'm not standing in water. And then because I've got cats, I'm going to shut the door so they're not running in here. Stepping in cleaner. I actually think I've got a little bleach in this tank. This tank, you can add whatever you want. And I feel like the last time I had some of this bleach. And I'm going to go ahead and leave the mop sitting right there until it dries. And when it gets finished drying, I'm gonna bring all the Spencer stuff back in here and put it back into place. But, other than that, I'm finished. Thanks so much for being with me here for Monday Motivation. Love you guys. And I will see you next week right here on my channel.